Hello, I'm Richard Sewell. I'm the instructor for HPA 444, Strategic Planning and Budgeting. The best way to think about this course is an advanced principles of management in public health, an advanced HPA 400. If you've had that course, and many of you have, uh, this will be the next step in terms of depth, uh, not so much in terms of breadth, though. HPA 400 was a very broad platform that dealt with all of the functions of management. HPA 444 focuses on planning and on the control function, the fiscal management function. And even with respect to planning, we're going to look at planning within organizations, strategic planning. We're even going to talk about the connection between strategic planning and strategic management. Uh, don't be overly concerned about the fiscal management part if you don't have a background in accounting or in uh, fiscal management. Uh, most of our students do not. But all of you are, as I've said before, at risk for becoming managers. And so that begs the question of your knowing something about uh, fiscal management and the control function. The way we want to deal with this course is to understand all of the products of a plan, the planning process itself, and you will have three group assignments and three individual assignments. The individual assignments, uh, obviously you would do those alone, uh, will constitute uh, quite a bit of your grade. It will be 70% of your grade. The group assignments will be 25 percent and then participation will be 5 percent. And what participation is in this course, uh, since it's an online course, is your entries on the discussion board, the dialogue that you participate in with me, with the teaching assistant, and with other students. Uh, the, so we want, we're not going to have a final examination in this class. Uh, it's something new that I'm trying, so the assignments really carry most of the weight for the course. Uh, I think you will find this uh, interesting and informative. I would argue that you would be able to provide planning and technical support to a group that was actually doing strategic planning as a result of this course. In terms of the control function, I think that you will start to understand things like uh, preparing a budget with budget justification. Uh, you would understand a little about financial ratio analysis. You would be able to look at revenue and expense budgets, uh, balance sheets, and begin to understand what some of the categories on those financial documents mean. Uh, you would also be able to understand distinctions between capital and operational expenses and the contributions that capital make to increased operational expenses. These are all things that you need to understand when you're sitting down talking with your financial colleagues in an organizational setting in public health. Uh, we will focus more on not-for-profit and governmental uh, accounting factors when we talk about the control function in management. I think you'll find the textbook uh, very useful. It's one of those books that you might want to keep even after you complete the, the, the class. Uh, I have changed textbooks for this class as of teaching the course last year and I found this one to be far superior to the resources I've used before. So uh, good luck to you. I think you'll enjoy the course. Uh, post a lot on the discussion board and we can continue the dialogue and create a very rich learning environment.